Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Haller for an Hour. This time we're playing the game that is uh, a pair-up, a sister game, to the game we just last played on Haller for an Hour, which was uh, Probo Rush. This is Full Moon Rush, where I believe we play as a werewolf, and it is another, apparently another bull hell shoot 'em up sort of game. So I might just play again like Probo Rush, but we are definitely a different character this time, so I assume there's a bit of different gameplay involved. I'm not really sure. Uh, we'll have to fire up to find out. But what I do know is that much like Probo Rush, this game is just entirely just a boss rush game. It is just about fighting bosses. It's not, it's probably not going to be super long. Like, uh, Probo Rush, we beat it within like an hour and a half or so, but it was a very enjoyable an hour and a half. That was a very well-made game. So I have high hopes for Full Moon Rush, but let's find out for ourselves, shall we? Of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, think about coming over to Twitch, because we're trying to reach partner over here, but we need more viewers to do it. So if you want to come by, whether it's a lurk or a talk, think about doing so, because it does make a world of difference. We really honestly would love to have you. It's nice to see new people, so come stop by if you can. We also have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I got a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content, and I have a merch store if you want to buy some cool merch. Links are in the description. You can check by your leisure. And that also includes, of course, the Waking Drive website that I also have linked down below. That is a, a drive we did earlier this year, but there is new art coming out all the time. And we recently uh, have a new picture on the site. So check it out if you're interested. Anyways, yeah, links in the description. So let's go ahead and fire this up. Let's go. To the, let's do the tutorial and see how different the game is compared to Prober Rush. I, these games were released at the same time, as far as I can tell, by the way. They also got both free content updates, which I very much appreciate at the same time as well, like recently, uh, which is cool. Uh, let's see how this game's different from the other one. I assume there's a reason that we play as a different character. Yeah, we have different... Okay, well, it might... Okay, so, yeah, we play as one of the werewolves. We actually fought the werewolf... We fought werewolves in Probo Rush. So here they are again. I seem to... I think we have different... Oh! Oh, okay. We have a little uh, bit of a dash here. Oh! Oh! The three werewolves we fought in Probo Rush are the three different werewolf states we have in Full Moon Rush. Okay, I see. I see. That's interesting. Okay. And we have the slide and everything, so... That's really cool. So basically that f whole fight was just a reference to Full Moon Rush. I wonder if Full Moon Rush has a reference to Probo Rush. I probably will. So it plays similar to Con the Contra, the Contra like Probo Rush, but it is a little bit different. It has this roll or dash, which yeah, it's it's iframes. It's got iframes. Okay, so this game is gonna focus on iframes. All right. I can tell because there's an evil laser beam here. So I cannot stop the charge or I cannot stop the roll, the dodge early. So it's always a set distance. Let's see. Medium rate damage increases with oh increases with distance. You say. Oh, yeah, they get bigger! And bigger, and bigger. No, that's not. Low rate, low range, high damage. Fair enough. High rate, auto target, medium damage. Okay, interesting. So there's, there's more technical aspects to our weapons. Alright. Let us go to the boss select. And let's begin with the first boss. Oh, look, the final, look, the final update. <laughs> That's the Probo Rush guy. All right. Okay. Obviously, this is also a spread gun. This feels like a Halloween boss. Appropriate. It is October. Okay, I, I guess I do need to make use of that dodge roll. Ooh, you know what, though? Hold on. Controls. Yes, here we go. So, I'm going to put the dash to a better button. Uh, in my case, I'm going to move it to... Left trigger. This way I can shoot and jump and dash all easily together. I guess when in doubt I can just... Actually, there's not a lot of cooldown for the dash. So I may as well dash, 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 dash. No reason not to. Ah, fucker. 
This seems like a good weapon right now. So this is a homing shot, but not as good as the other homing shot that we had in Probe Rush. Okay. So then we basically just fight a stained glass window. Oh, you know what I call this boss? I would call this the blood-stained glass window. There you go. Here's a name for you. Oh, I almost lost there. Or maybe for shorter, just the blood-stained glass. That would be a good name for it, actually. The blood-stained glass. What's next? A fucking <laughs> asteroid? Meatball? Is this an angry meatball? I can't. I'm just gonna die. Angry meatball. I, sh I can think. I, I think I can defeat the angry meatball. I should be okay. No. Oh, they move around on the ground. Okay. Gotcha. It's still good music. It definitely has more of a Castlevania feel. I, I like this weapon. Oh shit, he's, he's puking on me. How oh, rude. Oh no, he looks uh, kind of rough now. Oh god, he's like trying to charge right into me, okay. Oh god, okay, okay, okay. Keep moving, keep moving. Yeah! I think the music's- Asteroid? Meatball! Spooky Meatball! I think the song's still pretty good, personally. It has a strong Castlevania vibe that I actually very much approve of. Does this hurt me? No, it slows me down. Okay. He's dropping sand. That's mildly annoying, but not a big deal. Because now we're fighting. So we're now we're fighting Anubis, I suppose. Anubis versus Werewolf is actually an interesting idea. Oh, it doesn't stop my dash, though. That's good. Oh, no, it does stop my dash. I can still dash. I, don't still go any I just don't really go anywhere. Man, he is surprisingly hard to hit with a homie shot. Alright, new, new strategy then. Ow. Oh, I see why he's hard to hit. I have to hit specifically his arms. I wonder how the damage works on this weapon. Oh shoot, I didn't realize when he does a laser attack, any sand on the ground turns into fire. That ain't good. Okay. Noted. In that case, it would probably be best if I switch weapons a fair bit. That was foolish! Yeah, I can tell this does a lot of damage. Just a matter of hitting with it. Yeah, I feel the damage really stack up with this. Broke his arms. Now he bleeds. Fire. Oh yeah, the damage. Oh, he's just a, he's just a torso. Okay. 
cost of, uh, of this, huh? Alright. Ah, died. Okay. Yeah, the, 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 the green balls of whatever they're called. The poison globules or whatever. Very much strong damage on them. Damn. The problem is, of course, hitting this target with this is very tricky. If I can do it, I do massive damage, though. I mean, look at the health bar when I actually hit him. Oh, the fire randomly raises up to fuck me over, I see. I was wondering how that was happening. Damn. Last phase is tricky, because you have to I, you have to roll. You're, you're forced to. Which means... You could easily roll into the fire, because you cannot do the dodge... The dodge thing can only be done on the ground. So you must do a ground roll. You must do a de ground uh, dodge. Which means you must ground dodge into fire sometimes. <laughs> I think what I think what I'll do is in the last phase I'll switch to the slight homing shot and I'll just remove all the fire on the ground. Because I can shoot it. It's just hard to do with this weapon. Alright, now take out all the fire, and just go nuts. Bugger, he's attacking so fast I don't know if I have time to actually hit him. This does work, it's a workable strategy, but... Yeah, he's kind of relentless in this phase. It's hard to get much damage off. Damn it, I knew that was going to happen. Okay, maybe I'll try spread shot for last phase. Might be better damage. Oh, damn, what the hell? Why is he moving around so much? It's like going really weird. Wrong, wrong button! That was not my dodge button! Shit! Another thing I may uh, want to point out that you may not have noticed is that uh, I cannot destroy those Fireballs before they land. Oh fuck, what? Double laser? Rude. Hey 
Hey, Crimson, how's it going? <laughs> it's only a scratch. It's to scratch your arms off. Ah, uh, Monty Python. Always immortal, isn't it? Let's go encrypted. We're playing a pretty fun game. I'm corny. I'm fine. Oh god. Oh my god, please, sir. Why are you moving around so much? Okay, there. Ah, fuck, I got hit when I was trying to- Ah, fuck! Switching weapons is a tedious process for me. Excellent. Ah, fuck, fire. Come on, come on! Ah! How many times did I correct? Good to speak. Oh, that's why you have Looney or Lucy? I didn't actually know that. Never bothered to ask you why you did. And his movement is weird, man. Like, I never know where he's gonna be. It's very easy to hit him sometimes, and other times it's like impossible. I see how to do this. I'm gonna die. Wait, no, not. He is! Ha ha! So the damage that the uh, electric balls do when they get bigger is significant, actually. So if I can get the shot diagonally across the screen a fair bit, uh, it's so much damage. Oh, that was hard. Alright, what's next? Now, knowing that now. Oh, oh no, the stained glass windows. Cousin, the chandelier is now attacking me. Oh, it's very beefy. It has a lot of health. Okay, it's a bit of a mess, but predictable enough. Oh, okay. No, it's all right. I didn't expect that, but sure. That makes sense. Oh god, it's Pogoing! It's Pogoing, guys! Is it during an angry Pogo mode? That's actually not too bad. I dodged at the right time. I should be fine. Oh god. Mostly trying to just dodge the clusters of everything. What does this have to do with mining? What? Oh, Twitch thinks I'm playing. Oh, that's because nobody changed the game category. Could. Krasavs, could you uh, change the game category to say this game? Thank you, Chris. 
Chaos. That's because it's not that Twitch thinks I was, it's that we never changed the title. Oh, I just learned something very key about the pogo. It's not as scary as a look, he can't he can't pogo me in the quarters. I'm safe in the quarters, because he's too fat. The only thing that can the only thing that'll flush me out of a quarter is the pieces of glass. Those are not so bad though. They're very slow, so you have time to figure out how to move between them. Oh, I, I, by the way, the bloodstained glass was the, the, the other what I named the other boss. What do we name its cousin here? The chandelier. What 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 like evil boss name can I give a chandelier? Hmm. Try to think of a pun. Oh, fair enough, fair. <laughs> fair enough. Chandelier. Chandelier. What can you do with chandelier to make it sound evil? No, well, you could. The chandelier. But it didn't have eyes, though. You can only say that if the chandelier had eyes. Then you could call it a chandelier. But you can't call it that if it doesn't have any eyes. This one was just trying to cut me up and stuff. <laughs> can't think of anything. Okay, that's just a mass of evil souls. Didn't know I was fighting a spirit team, but alright. Oh, every time I hit it, it... Okay. I see. It's a boss that shoots projectiles at me when I hit it. That's fine. I can control when I'm hitting it, so... Oh no, it has little arms. Okay. I made fun of its little arms and then its little arms killed me. Suppose I deserve that. Really, in this sort of game, I'm more about kind of staying my ground. And then, like... Wow, that laser lasts a long time after it starts petering out. My goodness. Okay, that's harder to dodge than it looks. Okay, he's just interested in following me in this phase. That's fine. Makes it predictable, if nothing else. Ooh, that was a careful dodge. Oh, that was a lucky dodge. Okay, right, you know what? You wanna hang around underneath me? Cool. Have this. Okay, so first phase, definitely the, the spread shot. Second phase, definitely the bubble, because he wants to hang next to me anyways. He, does, he gives me a demonstration right at the beginning of, the, of that phase. I should use that to my advantage and just, like, immediately get some free hits in. Oh yeah, that's a lot faster with the bubble. Okay, now what? Okay. Are we going back to me, you shooting me whenever I hit you? Yes, yes we are. Okay. That's no, not too bad. I just have to, like... Plan attacks, that's okay. Ah, I see. When he's underneath me, perfect time. Because then I can easily move out of the way of the attack. By the way, what would you call this guy? None of these bosses have names, so I, I want to help naming them. Let's see, you call this one Skomulus, Scal a cloud of skulls? I like it. Yeah, I kind of see it. It's like, it's, it's like skulls and clouds. I see what you're talking about. Oh, 
that dangerous dodge I did, actually. Oh, shit. Oh. Close calling myself a little bit. Not really a good idea, but what I'm doing, apparently. There we go. Call skull zillion. He does have a zillion skulls. That's a fair. That's a fair statement. What's next? Uh, the rook. Oh, okay. That's what you do. All right. Oh, dude, I can outshoot that. It's not so bad. Oh wait, that's a terrible place to stand and dodge that. Okay. Alright, each three parts do their own independent actions. Problematic. Can I jump on the hands? Or is that just gonna hurt me? It hurts you. Okay. I was wondering if I could get, like, a... If they could act as a... Like, a via platform. Out of the, out of the attacks... I'm gonna restart. So, the hands are the most dangerous because they shoot bricks at me. That laser is quite mean, too, though. That's one hand. Sort of down. It's now dangerously emitting bricks. Dangerously emitting bricks. That's certainly a statement, isn't it? Oh, it can still do that. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, oh, God! Oh, that motherfucker! He, like, started moving it left and then he moved it right. So I was like, oh, he's moving, he's moving that way. Okay, I see which direction it's going. By the way, it's very easy to bump into the hands while I'm trying to attack them. This is very, this is very finicky. That's the way. I, I, the fact that he like aims the laser a little bit one direction than the other way, it's kind of mean. Please come down and take your take your knocks. Thank you. Oh, three times. Okay, I gotcha. I walked right into that brick, and I don't know why. I'm smart, that's why. However, I'm smart enough to beat the boss, so that's what matters. Paulus, it does have, does ha does, it, that one does have eyes. You, you can call that one a leer putt if you want. It has eyes. This is Ramrock plus Onyx. I could see it. Look at the boss, it's made out of building. It's amazing. Mobile, mobile castles are fun. Um... They go crossover and charge up later. Laser. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Actually, it had a very silly face for a, a living castle. All right, what's uh? Uh. Oh, okay. This is gonna be fun. The slow attacks mixed with the slow and fast projectiles mixed together makes Charm not a happy dog. Especially if the especially if the slow projectiles are fucking massive, apparently. Fast. It, it try to juke me. Juke, juke. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. What the fuck? What is your movement pattern? Oh, it's purely- it's just purely trying to follow me. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Or is it? I, I don't know. Is it trying to follow me? Thank you. That wasn't too hard. Beat on the first try. Cursed! Oh, quad laser eyes still alive! Ah, watch out! Oh god, it has home. The shot's home at the end. Good to know. Is this another final boss of a surprise phase? Maybe. Did we already reach the final boss? I feel like we didn't find enough bosses to reach that. Oh fuck, I'm, right. I'm an idiot and walked right into that for some reason. I don't know why. Don't ask me. That too. Good work, me. Good work. Class act. Good work. It does take a little effort to turn around, by the way. <laughs> ah, fuck, I dodged right into a bull. I knew that was gonna happen. Boss is having stick drift, guys. Kind of hard to deal with. It's actually really hard to suddenly turn around and dodge. Like, it does take some coordination to do that, I gotta say. On that last phase, I might be better off doing home and attacks. It would be easier to dodge if I didn't have to worry about suddenly turning around in between attacks. Bugger. You know what? Restart. Oof! But the very first part of this phase is definitely the hardest. When the red balls are in play, I hate. I have a lot more trouble. Why is there still a red ball in play? Okay. I still got hit even well. Okay, fine. Yeah, this works. This is better. Oh, it, what? Ah. The elbows! Sometimes they're just in the wrong place. Sometimes they're just in the wrong place to dodge them. Like that one I almost got hit by. Okay. Okay, jumping not good. Got it. How much damage this does. I don't really know what the damage drop off is for range. Only way to fight out is to use it. Seems kind of mad. Yeah. Boss too big for this weapon to be effective. It might actually restart. I want to get through the first phase without taking a hit. For like kind of obvious reasons. It's a bit of a that last phase is probably going to hit me, so I need some health for it. Show me your weak point, fool. There we go.
I'll try to only dodge the laser when uh, there aren't a million bolts on screen. Ah, oh, fuck me. Actually, I just realized the shooting pattern of the of the bolts depends on the boss's momentum. That's why it's been tripping me up so much. Eh, I see. Yeah, fuck. <laughs> Man, this is a mean one. Thank God for the green laser beams, or the green balls being so effective. It really? <sighs> it's just the random air projectile that always hits me. It's like I'm dodging the majority of attacks, but there's always just that little extra piece of shit that I can't dodge. Whether in this phase, or the second phase, or the third phase. Third phase I don't quite understand, I haven't lived long enough to process how to dodge that attack. Why is there still a fucking home- Okay, finally they're gone. The red- the, again, the red- the giant red attacks hate those. A little annoyed how long they lasted. It's weird, I have to concentrate on the laser very heavily, but I also need to concentrate very heavily on projectiles as well. Fuck. Only the boss's movement pattern made a little more fucking sense. Okay. What do we know about this phase? Well, it's home. It's a pretty easy phase. Holy shit! As in that, it's short. It, he doesn't have much health, thank fucking god, or I would have lost again. Oh, goodness. Okay. We did it. I'm gonna guess that was the- That wasn't the final boss at all! That was just boss six! Yeah, this game's a little harder than, than Prova Rush. Yeah, occasionally, I mean. Feels like the bosses are a little harder overall in this game. So that was like a secret third form, but that wasn't the final boss this time. Hardly. Thank you, guys. Alright, what's this one? Wait, that's the one I just beat. I'm dumb. What's this one? Wispy Woods. Oh no, it's the it's 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 Mr. Evil McMonson's Monson's Monson's cousin. Oh my God, this attack. All right, I understand. I think uh, homing looks good for now. Um, sir, how am I supposed to dodge the attacks out of curiosity? You lost a lot of teeth there. I'm just trying to learn right now. Hold on. The aired tooth, of course. Man. All right, homing it is. Yes, please charge me. That's a lot easier to dodge than five million balls. Okay, fine. Five million balls and mixed in as well, why not? Oh, he's free! Shit, he's free, guys! Watch out! That is a... sort of concerning amount of balls. Alright. I just don't- I don't know how to dodge this video if they go in the wrong direction. <laughs> Did 
They do have a slightly more forgiving hitbox so than I thought. So, fair enough, I guess. Oh, I can... Fuck! That's an easy phase if I plan it right. Eldritch Woods, pretty much. Alright, he's starting. I kinda wanna, like, see if I can rack up higher damage with the right attacks. Honestly, though, the way this boss works, I don't wanna get anywhere near him, really. So while I'd love to use the green globules, I can't, really. Cause he just, like, whacks into me. Maybe after phase one I could, because then the teeth would be gone. Like, half his teeth would be gone then. Maybe it'd be okay then. Once he is freed, I do think I might have a better chance. I remember Tim telling what the hitbox of the giant red balls is, and when they exactly despawn. He literally throws himself into my line of fire when he charges. If I'm using the green balls, effectively. Yeah, that seems effective. Oh, I can jump to make this attack even easier to dodge. Okay. Oops. Oops! I think homing is honestly the best option for the first and last phase, but for the middle phase, you might want to use the three balls. That's what I decided. Oh, fuck. I wasn't ready for the charge with it, then. I was getting used to the other pattern he was in. He does choose his attacks randomly, I'd like to know. And it's okay to touch a stick tail. That's fine. I can touch that all I want. So it's a good... Opportunity to jump over after his charge just then. Whoops. Got a little too aggressive. Why did I dodge roll through that when it was extremely risky and I shouldn't have done that? Oh well. Oh, bugger, right. Restart. It's all about playing the phases correctly. If you're bad at a particular phase, then try to save your health for later. Save your health for the phase you're bad at. By mastering the phases you're good at. That's how I generally play this sort of game. Or just really how I fight bosses with multiple phases. Bad dodge.
Okay, fine. Of course, it doesn't seem like I can save my health from the last phase. Unfortunately. Oh, that's what I'm getting hit by! I was so confused, but he has rubble. I didn't even notice the rubble he drops. That explains so much. I didn't even see that. I think it's only a phase two thing, which is why I was not noticing it. Actually, if he uses his tooth attack, I totally have an opportunity to lay into him with the best best attack, but in phase one. It's very tempting to use this. It really is. Because it just speeds up the fight if you can use it right. Weirdly though, it doesn't seem like it's doing as much damage to this guy as some bosses. Maybe it's just because he has more health, or something? Yeah, right there. <sighs> Bugger. If I, if I get under him when he's shooting teeth, I could switch to the attack, but I gotta be quick about it. Attack of opportunity, I guess you could say. But only if the opportunity is there. Ah, oh, bugger, I dodged the thing I was trying to dodge, but then he clipped me of his fucking mouth. Of course. The mouth is a is a more devious hitbox than it may seem like. At least I got to phase two one extra hit, I guess. And now I've learned to watch out for rubble. Because whenever he lands, rubble. It's very easy to miss that detail, honestly. can work on last phase too. Not sure I'd be better off using anything else though. If it isn't obvious, by the way, you have very limited iframes in this game. And by the way, I am intentionally dying if I get hit, hit early. For anybody wondering if I'm just playing, like, horribly, <laughs> no. I'm actually resetting. I think there's just a, a bit more, like... Man, I don't know. It's just the red balls, man. They get in the way. They get really in the way, and it, that's why this is so hard for me. Best thing ever if he decides to just do that over and over again, though.
I got lucky there. Damn it. Okay, I think I'm learning a strategy. If, the, if I'm below him, the balls will despawn faster. They'll hit the ground a little faster. I think that's the key here. Damn it! Thought I had a rhythm there, but it was it was too tight. Oh, of course, now you do the charge up to. Lulled to a false sense of security, I was. This one is tough. This one is tough. There's just a little too much going on, in my opinion. Again, there's something I hate as much as a large and slow projectile that just won't get the fuck off the playing field and, like, stop harassing me, basically. Okay, I need to at least enter phase three of two hearts. That's what I basically decided. Yeah, it's a hard one. It's also just, it has a lot of HP, so I can't burn it down quickly. Some of these bosses definitely have more HP than others. That was a very luckily timed dodge. Damn it. Good right, fair. Damn it! See what I mean? Like, I dodged the projectile, fussed about a bit, then tried to dodge something else and ran into the projectile I originally dodged. This is the problem. I really hate slow projectiles in games. A fast projectile may come at you quickly, but it gets out of the way quickly, too. Lucky dodge. Yeah, simply hitting phase two without taking damage is a bit of a job. One of the bosses that have demanded more concentration than most. Wait. He'll charge wherever I am, even if I'm in mid-air. I just noticed that. If I make him charge in mid-air, there's less, there's less shit to deal with. Oh my god, this is so easy. Look. If he doesn't hit the ground, there's less trouble. Uh huh. <laughs> if you don't, if he doesn't hit the ground, he doesn't spawn rubble. If he doesn't spawn rubble, there's a lot less of problems. The rubble isn't that big deal, but it is a small risk, a small distraction, all the same. Oh boy! All right, fish. Oh, this looks like a perfect place to use. Okay, this is like. Oh yeah, this is a. Uh, this is stand in the corner and do this, and maybe dodge that now and then. <laughs>
Oh wow, I thought I dodged that by you stepping, but I didn't. Alright, alright. Fish. I can do this. Really, that projectile. I, I think they're just vomiting. It's, a, it's definitely hard to dodge attack, actually. Looks easy, but then... It fire, I think the hitbox might be slightly wonky on it or something. Get up! Alright, they did. Uh, they're, they're in swim mode now. Should be doable. I might mess. I might flood this one attempt, but oh shit! Them staying above is actually more helpful than me than anything else. Oh, <laughs> I do attack though. Ah, there it is. Yeah, I, I prefer them when they're swimming. They're a little easier then. I can turn around, I don't appreciate that. Oh god, that's close. I got very lucky there. Whoa! This is all reactions! It's all just reaction speed. It's really unfortunate how I managed to burn them down very separately. So I kept both of them in the fight for as long as possible. That really sucks. Basically, I was constantly- I was doing such a good job hitting them back and forth that I was not taking out either one of them and making the fight slightly easier on myself in the process. Oh my goodness. This is very addicting. Very, very fun. What's this? Fire. Okay. Okay. Kinda, I can't kind of just create a wall of defense if I'm careful. Oh, those are homie. Those are homie. Uh, small target though. <coughs> Let's try this. What am I fighting? What is what is this? It kind of looks like an orb, but it's kind of throbbing. <laughs> For lack of a better word. Yeah, the small hitbox makes this hard to hit, but with the homing weapon, it's not so bad. Okay, it's constantly changing the types of like attacks it's doing based on color. Whoa! Green flame, fuck off. What the hell? Reflames can home.
At least just keep relighting and relighting, apparently. Oh my god. Okay, I see. You're gonna turn yourself into Top Spinner. Well, you did a good job. Fucking hell. These bosses definitely need names. It would be really cool. It would kind of tie them together, honestly. This fight feels difficult. I mean, it's it feels like a kind of quick fight, but it also feels kind of difficult. It's quite the, uh... It's ever switch. The enemies are ever switching as far as what they're doing. Which can be a little disorienting. Gotta stay on your toes. You don't know what exactly is gonna come at you. Oh my god, like that. I had a weird mix of green and red flames and I couldn't handle that. Definitely one of those bosses where you control what the attacks are based on what you do. So how do I dodge top spin mode, I wonder? I guess I just dodge through. But if the fireballs are coming at the wrong time, I can't. This is the fidget? Because <laughs> fidget spinner, I guess? Blue flames are really annoying. Again, slow projectile. Not the slowest projectile, but still slow enough to throw me off. It really is weird how slow projectiles are some of the worst attacks for me to dodge. It would seem like it'd, it'd be easy, but it really is- oh fuck, fight. You know what, I'm gonna try something. Let's go back to this again. I wanna see if this works out. It might. I don't know. Damn, that one got me? I thought I could take it out before I did. Ah, fuck it. It's a lot harder to use this, I have to say. I don't think it's impossible, though. It might speed up the fight if used correctly. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it! I keep thinking my spreadshot will take out the flames before they become a problem, but they don't. There's always, like, one being missed. Bugger. Alright. Let's try the, most, the least practical one. It might be more practical than I think, who knows? It does decimate! You know, actually, one weird thing I could do with this... I could take out one ladder at a time, thus going through its face- Wow, I'll we'll just leave it that one, alright. If I took out one ladder at a time, I could go through its phases individually. The yellow flames aren't that bad, they're just kind of random scatter shot. I can deal with that. So if I just left that one as the yellow flames, it's probably unlikely to happen though. I'll probably be hitting whatever I hit. Also, another problem is this guy does stretch to the ground and then hits me, so. Yeah, this doesn't really work that well. I think it's homing shots. I think it's just homing shots is what I have to do. I don't think I see an alternative. Well, if, if this guy didn't stretch himself out randomly, this would be a lot easier. The ra him randomly having his laser stretch, like, I don't know when he's gonna do it, you see? It's kind of like a really random thing. So 
Sometimes he doesn't stretch out for a really long period of time. Sometimes he does it, like, all the time. Again, it's probably just random choice of attack RNG. That's a lot of fireballs. Oh, what? What the hell? I dodged? I'm amazed, but okay. I I don't know how to dodge. I really don't know how to dodge everything at the last phase. Oh, wait! I can't do air dodges! Never mind, I figured it out. I didn't know I could air dodge. <laughs> I thought I couldn't. Okay, I know how to dodge that attack, though. Like, the last phase was kind of perplexing me. Like, well, that seems really hard to dodge. I have to dodge it on the ground, but then I run to fire. No, I can air dodge. I can air dodge. Okay. That changes things a little bit. Fireballs are scary, but at least they're destructible. I can't dodge when I can shoot it. Okay. okay maybe not air dodge into a fireball, though. Not bad, okay. Oh! That one was a very fierce one. By the way, that was boss number 10, so that was actually the final boss. Whoo! That air dodge... That air dodge is necessary because of that... With the way that fidget spitter goes right at you. You have to... You have to... You have to... The reason you need to be able to air dash is because a ground dash is not only difficult to get around the spinning via, but also um, the fireballs will also hit you after you're done with that... Going through them, so... All right. So, like, like with Probo Rush, the first ten bosses are what the game shipped with. The next five were from a recent update. So let's see what we got for the DLC boss or the well, the free DLC bosses. Then. I, huh? The minecarts? I'm not really sure what I'm looking at here. Oh, new music also. What now? Mines, okay. That's fair. This is one of those bosses where you don't want to move too quickly because you're gonna get yourself trapped. Oh, they're up they're upset now. Ooh. Green's Weird shots to move weird. Gotcha. There, did it. First try bosses are usually not that hard. 
because I first tried them. Or I get extremely lucky, perhaps. Um, okay. Do you, do you heard on contact? Okay, you do. Fair I check. This seems like a chase boss where I can... Oh, a shockwave, okay. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely want to take these out, this phase out as quickly as possible. This is me just learning the phase. Of those. Just say so I have to dodge, I think. Okay. <laughs> I guess I should have figured you'd do that. Oh, right, the bubble. He also spawned bubble. Okay. The very start of phase two is definitely the hardest part of it. Oh, I wonder what the shock would do if it went from up there. There. Every less of one there is, the less painful will be to dodge, so. This is about being careful. And dodging that. Oh, okay, every time he smashes, those come down and... Okay, gotcha. They make evil lava! Oh, whoops! He, <laughs> he, he drifted upwards just a little bit and it got me. Rude. What is this mysterious creature in a rock? I wonder what it is. It's like a shy rock guy. Oops, I should have jumped that. Properly. Honestly, I hate it when I take a hit just because I was lazy. Then I'm like, oh man, I could have dodged it. I was just being lazy. Man, I should be lazy. Or sometimes if I'm over aggressive, that also is a problem sometimes. I like um, the fact that I can do a lot of damage to this guy. Before I even. Uh... Like, in, in the last phase, he gives you a lot of time to just free hit him, which I appreciate. Very, very kind of him. I am in trouble. Oh, I'm fine. Somehow. Nope, never mind. <laughs> ah, that was again my own fault, really. Two of my own fault hits. I would have otherwise won if I hadn't made so many mistakes. Hubris is a word for a reason, though, isn't it? Oh, yeah, lucky there. Ah. 
That was hubris that got me damaged, though. I'll take it. I was like, maybe I'll get lucky. No. I've been trapped with what I got. Oh, dude. I just had a crazy idea. Kill me. I want to try something. Does he hit me? No, he doesn't. I was right. That's a perfect place. Wow. First phase can be done easily without any, mis any problems. Turns out. Turns out first phase can be done 100% reliably without taking damage. Nice. Wow, good work, me. It was like, wait, can he actually slam down on me here? No, he can't. So cool, I can, I can, I can speed up the first phase. That's good. I am, I'm almost winning this. I'm very close to winning. Just need a little bit more, guys, and we'll have it. We're very close to winning the game, which I am totally going to do because I did beat- What the fuck did I just do? I was thinking about things. Too bad- I should never think when I'm trying to beat a boss. That's a very bad strategy for me. I was like, kind of taking a moment to think and I didn't really have a moment to think. Silly me. It's rather nice that during this phase, the the boss's main body is not actually boss. It's not actually uh, available to hurt you. That's actually very kind of them. To make them hitbox not actually painful in this phase. Man, hubris is a big problem for me. <laughs> Honestly, the up and down hovering of the boss is what scares me the most during this phase. It's hard to put in the... Wow. I thought he would stop a little sooner than that. <laughs> Whoops! We gotta fight Probo Guy. Yeah, it's absolutely... It'll come... It's like a full circle sort of thing. Oh, bugger me. I jumped way earlier than I should have. Oh, bugger. My aggression knows no bounds. Oh, come on. This guy gives me Ball of Balls vibes, though, seriously. boss we fought earlier that also had kind of a rotating around itself, rotating balls around a face sort of design, which, yeah, very balls balls.
The best attack opportunities are also scary. For this boss to be. For this phase. Oh wait, I just realized. Why am I not just using the homie attack? I probably figured this out too late, but... Yeah, that would just... I don't need it. Like, I didn't think about switching weapons. <laughs> like, that, that, that's a fairly obvious, like... Wait, like, wait. It's easy to stay away from the boss. Why don't I just use the long-range long -range weapon? Also, hello, Sa hello there, Sante Dan Dol Doliel Rule. Welcome. Welcome to the chat. And the stream. Okay. They block attacks. Gotcha. Okay. Alright, well, if you block attacks, do you block everything? What about this? Yeah, I didn't think so. That has, bla that has splash damage. You can't block that. Okay. Oh, you also bounce around randomly. Got it. I thought they always started with a particular attack, but that was not the case. Okay, so they have certain things. All right, so they want to use... Oh, fi fire! I didn't know they had that. Okay, this doesn't seem that hard. It's gonna take my time. I'm also gonna focus one target at a time if I can. Ah, oh, fuck! I missed. I missed my shot entirely. Yeah, if they start shooting projectiles like that, then I'll just. There we go. Okay, I made him mad. Oh, is he just like trying to chase me now? Okay. That could be worse, I guess. There we go. Easy. Now just to get rid of the other one. <laughs> the platform's blocking that attack makes this even easier, too. I'm really just waiting for them to open themselves up with the laser attack. There we go. It was funny. I think this is the only boss in the game that I can actually, like... I think this is the only boss of the game that I might be able to AFK on. Watch this. If I stand right here... Done. I mean, of course, he's kind of invincible for the fraud, but... So I do need to free him to actually finish him off. Yeah, I do like how this weapon just removes the shielding ability of their shield. I mean, it does reduce the damage they take, but it's not a big deal. Whoops, I fell. I think I had a hit to work off of. Yay, I'm in the shrubbery. <laughs> Alright, actually, hold on. Are we at it? No, not quite. We've got one more. Alright. Tree. A rat tree. Or is it a rat cross? It's a rat cross, guys. This is where Rat Jesus came from. Bats! That's- <laughs> They even have the little- Oh, they charge. Ooh, that's actually kind of neat. Probably not very durable, but they're bats. Actually, I think of that, they're fairly durable. There we go. No more bats! Here's the problem with the green attack. I can overshoot these bats. Which is very bad for me. Or, sorry, the rats, not the bats. Right, 
Right, another bat. That's fine. Oh, that's not fine. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting that. Oh god, bat plus bat. That's a big combo there. I should have seen that coming. I didn't. For some reason, I didn't notice the other bat up there. <laughs> I must say, they are very durable bats. I'm very impressed. I've never seen a bat this durable in a video game before. Unless it's a giant bat boss or something. This is just an ad, so pretty impressive health. Wow, okay, you know what? I'm gonna switch to this. Because this this should get rid of the rats a little more easily, so. Yeah, this, this is better. Bats charge very aggressively fast, but they're pretty easy to dodge. You easily slip underneath them. By the way, why is there, why is there a why is a tree crucifix spitting out rats and having bat bat attackers? I don't quite understand this boss. Does anybody understand this boss? It's just rat Jesus, man. That's all it is. That's all I can say it is. Okay, gotta have it ready for the really mean attack now. Now here's the thing. This attack won't be a big deal once the bat's dead. But until the bat's dead, it's gonna be miserable. See? Right into the back, trying to dodge the vine. Yep. That's a mean one. That that end phase is mean. Actually, wait, do the rats stop in last phase? I should switch to the poison, the poison green bubble thing. Oh, I ran into the bat because I didn't... <laughs> the bat has momentum, I keep forgetting this. <laughs> that was such a stupid way to take a hit. Whoops. Yeah, I think for the last phase I will just... Uh, switch to the green bubble. Because the rats stopped at that point. I really want to know where this boss's design came from. Oh wait, no, the rats don't stop, I'm lying. I lied to all of you, I'm sorry. They come slower, though. God damn it. Okay, I guess that means homing all the way, then. I could try very quickly swapping to, like, a more powerful weapon when the bat's in my face, but that would be very teeny. That'd be very technical. I'm very confused by this boss, so I gotta be honest with you. I'm really, like, wondering how the hell did they come up with this, and what is, what is it supposed to be? 
because it is a tree crucifix spitting out rats and having bat minions attack me, and then there's vines occasionally at the end. I just don't understand. It is such a thing. It's a thing that exists, you know? <laughs> I killed it before I kill its bat. I wanted to kill the bat! Alright, fine, that's fine. I'll, I'll, the bat can live. You can tell everyone else in the forest, like, oh man, they took out the rat crucifix. We should never build another one. Or he'll go take that out too. I I watched my brothers fall, including the rats, which are also my brothers because they're one letter off from my name. <laughs> like, I, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, final level of the game. And final level of both of the rush games. Let's do it. And it is against the protagonist Road Rush! Well, I assume yeah, he has the same weapon, so. Okay. Wait, what is this? Oh my god, we he has traditional health bar like me. Sorry, I'm not in that angle. This seems reliable so far. I'm worried about using the other attacks. Spread shot's gonna be hard to dodge. The homie missile is gonna be impossible to dodge? It's a Protagonist versus Protagonist face off. I wonder. Gotta love those in games, right? I don't like the fact he's only used two weapons. I guess he'll use a third one when I lower his health or something. There we go, finally. Holy shit, that took forever. Oh, okay, now he's gonna use the platforms. Gotcha. Wait, why does he get four hearts? <laughs> Hold on a second. Also, his hearts are very, very strong. Oh, that's bullet hell. I, I guess I need to dodge through that. All right, air jumps. I can do air jumps. All right, gonna switch weapons, by the way. Oh. oh! Sorry, I just had a realization. <laughs> I mean, I took damage, but I'm experimenting. Is the best strategy. So he does aim his weapon towards me, by the way. So he, or, or tries to at least. So it seems like a good strategy. Maybe jump between the platforms. And... What? He can jump in phase one? I didn't even know this. He like never did, so I was like surprised. So I guess Full Moon Rush ended up being harder than Proper Rush. At least for me. How am I to see with that? It's amazing. Oh god. Get away from me. Damn it! Tentacle bastard! As much as I would like to use the green weapon because of the sheer amount of health he has, I don't think it's very viable.
basically want to stay away from him because you don't know what he's going to use. And if he uses Flamethrower, you're kind of done. Alright, I'm just, I'm just going to use Homing Shots and play carefully. It's going to take longer, but I think it's more... It's actually, ironically, going to be more efficient than using the Green Goo. Alternatively... Okay, now you jump after me. Actually, you know what? I think I can land really good damage with this weapon if I play my cards right. I'm trying to understand his movement pattern. I think he wants to follow me, sort of, but also he likes to go back and forth at the same time. Hard to explain. If I try to get behind him, he changes direction, I think. Or maybe it's about distance, actually. Okay, that felt pretty viable. We did damage pretty fast there. Yeah, 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 this is working. I'm probably going to still lose this phase, but... Yeah. I wonder, can I... I can dash into a wall. I wonder if something did. Yeah, that works. Dash into a wall is a strategy sometimes. Doesn't get you anywhere, but... Yes, please just stand there and do that. I appreciate it. Okay, I got a plan, and that plan is the left wall's my friend. Let's see if it works. If he stops next to me, I must get away from the left wall. Left wall cannot be my friend in that situation. Yeah, if he stops next to me, I need to change sides. Otherwise, I think I have a strategy. When I do an air dash, I, I, I dash for slightly longer. Interesting. Also, it makes it easier to dodge anyway, so I should just do that. Oh, see, he's, if he stops next to me, that's my time to leave. Okay, I got, I got this, I got this. One wall of pain for you, sir. Oh, he's being so obliging right now. <laughs> this is working. Oh, I made a mistake. Other wall is my other friend. Oh god, missiles. My plan does not account for missiles. Does it? Hell yes! Did I win? I won! And I stood in space. That's good. <laughs> there we go. That is how you beat two games. With a decent amount of challenge in a single streaming session. <laughs> They're not super long games, but man, these are fun. I definitely think I like Probe Rush a little bit more. I, I think Full Moon Rush is cool with its dodge mechanic, but the dodge mechanic 
isn't... Like, it's a little trickier to use, so I think I prefer the more straightforward approach of Probo Rush, but they're both very much fun. So yeah, Full Moon Rush! Much like Probo Rush, it controls basically the same with some different mechanics and different weapons. These mo these two games could be one game that... It they th these two games could be one game with two, like, game modes. So one could, if they want to be a little bit mean argue, man, they shouldn't sell two games. This should just be one game. But, consider they're each five bucks, and each of them give a quality experience, it's fine by me. Yeah, that's fine. They could sell two five-buck games, as long as they're both fun. I don't see any problem with that. And I think they are. For five bucks, that is completely worth your time. Uh, on both on both of the Rush games. Very, very enjoyable experience. They're very much what you see is what you get. Very straightforward. Have some boss fights. Let's have some boss fight fighting fun. That is it. And of course, there is the boss rush mode if you want to challenge yourself. I, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in trying to beat all the bosses at once. Uh, but that is a nice challenge, and I believe there's probably an achievement for that. Let's take a look at the achievement list here. So there's an achievement for being every boss uh, individually. An achievement for being all the bosses. And an achievement for being boss rush with health set to one. Oh! God Gamer, beat Boss Rush with Health Set to 1. Yeah, see, if you had fun with this game and you want more content out of it, if you think it's too short, Boss Rush mode, one health mode, apparently there's an achievement for that. So you could have a hardcore experience of this if you want as well. So, yeah, this is completely worth it. These games are a good definition of short is not bad. Um, and it is worth spending a few bucks on a short experience if that experience is enjoyable. Also, I just realized there are four moons on this screen. Holy... Holy moons. Holy moons, Batman. There's four of them. But yeah, fun game. Much like Probo Rush. Pretty much like if you like one of them, you'll like the other. That's basically what I'd say. They are a little different mechanically, but they, they have the same premise. They have basically the same controls. Good times. I'd spend, yeah, I'd say it's worth your time to buy these. If you if you don't like spending five bucks on a short experience, wait for a sell. You'll you 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 will get enjoyment out of this if you if you like if, if you had all liked what you watched, I'd suggest picking it up. Full Moon Rush. Go check it out.